Welcome again to God's workshop. My heart and your heart becomes His workshop when we surrender our hearts and our lives and our thinking process to Him. I've often heard people say, do you know what state I'm in? Well, if you're in a state, that means it's a state of mind which is normally negative. Rarely do people say, what state am I in? And then it's a good state. You see, the reason why people take drugs, drink alcohol, do all kinds of things which are mood altering is because it changes their state. The problem is, I'm not knocking you, I'm just telling you, it's not a sustainable state. The only sustainable state is Jesus Christ, because he's the same yesterday, today and forever. And the reason why we end up in a state is because of the story we tell ourselves. We believe the negative voices, we believe the accusations, we believe the worst about ourselves and about others, and then as a result of that, we let the condemning voices in our head uh, plan our lives or influence our lives. I want to challenge you today to change your state. Live larger than those condemning voices. Then you can live without regret. Shut out those voices of self-sabotage because when you change your story to God's story and you take His truth as the ultimate truth, then the strategy for your life forward is going to be an amazing strategy because you're allowing Him to direct your life. What do you do when life gets tough? Remind yourself, because you've changed your story, you'll alter your state to say, even if the process takes longer than I thought it, it would, it's never beyond God's ability to step in because I've surrendered to Him. Make up your mind today that God's truth about you is the truth. And He says that He loves you, and he cares for you, never doubt your self-worth because of the fact that he's proved your value to you by giving us his precious son to the Lord Jesus Christ. That puts us with our, a new story in our minds, puts us in a state to live a strategic life of victory in Jesus. God bless you. Live larger than the condemning voices. Live without regret.